Hi, welcome back to Bride Society. I'm Rebecca and this is Laura. So today we are doing a try on video and this time with warehouse uh, bridesmaid selection of dresses. So they've just brought out their new collection and we're really excited to try them because we've not done a warehouse no, we one before. No, um, I don't know if it's the first time they've done it but it's the first time we've been aware of it anyway. So yeah, we're trying on their entire range actually and we've got one of all the colours <laughs> that they had so you can see a bit of everything. Yeah, because the dresses, a lot of them come in different colours so if you like one style but want it in a different colour Mm. It yeah, work. so there's a mix and match yes. option going on here as well. So, okay, so the first dress we tried on was I tried it on, and I was really impressed actually. In fact, I was, overall, spoiler alert, I was quite impressed <laughs> with the um, with all of them. Um, so this was a kind of a navy blue color, would you say? Yeah, navy yeah. blue. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the only issue I have with the dress and it's not really the dress's fault at all is it was a bit too short on me I thought personally but I am five foot ten so mm -hmm. I'm not kind of standard height yeah and how tall because you're wearing shoes too yes. how so I think they're about two and a half inches the heels so yeah it hit about ankle length I think mm -hmm. yeah although I think it looked completely fine like yeah like that but yeah if you're looking for floor length but yeah it wouldn't have been been that on you no I really like the, the frill detailing yes. at the front. I thought it was very flattering and it sort of cut in a nice place and I think it would be flattering on a lot of body types. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, it was comfortable to wear and you could wear a bra with it, which is always a bonus. Mm. Uh, <laughs> definitely. And the only problem, well, another problem, was um, it had beautiful covered button detail down the back. So I think it would be really difficult to get into this dress without help. I had to get you to do up the buttons at the back because they are quite fiddly to try and kind of do them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, even me it took quite a bit yeah. of doing and I was looking straight at it. <laughs> so yeah, trying to do this. Just something to be aware of, you might need some help in that department. Yes. <laughs> So next up, I tried on this dress and like, sorry, in our notes I put this is slinky mink. <laughs> it's because it's in mink colour and it's quite a slinky dress, but we thought that was catchy, so the slinky mink dress. Um, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this dress, although I think it looks slightly worse in the pictures than I thought it did in person. Oh, I think it looks good. But that's, that's me. But, um, but yeah, I did think I looked better in it than I had expected to from pictures on the website, I was like, that's gonna be hard to wear unless like you're sort of a, a very slender figure, uh, like the models were in, in the pictures. Um, which is probably why we got these dresses, because we wanted to be able to show them on different body types, because yeah. actually none of the models were of a diverse body type on, no. on their website on this occasion. So. And I have to say, I was really not looking forward to trying on these dresses because I thought, as someone with hips and curves and not a size zero that they wouldn't look right on me but I was actually like with the first one I would wear that dress yeah so I was pleasantly surprised <laughs> <laughs> yeah no likewise and I think because I also had that concern particularly with this dress that I thought would be particularly not forgiving of all the ones I was trying on I did size up in the order to give myself that bit more wiggle room as it were <laughs> Um, I think in reality I didn't need to, I think all the other dresses I ordered in my usual size and I think they're all s slightly generous, like I would have been very happy in my usual size in this dress also and I say all the others were a good fit size wise as well. Um, but yeah, I, and the colour I thought was going to be hard to wear. I think I would struggle with the colour but it did actually work mm. out on you. Yeah, and just that slight, slightly darker mm. skin, but yeah, but yeah, I thought I was going to be more washed out than I was. So, as a plus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this was actually quite long, on me anyway, so I'm five, six and a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm wearing two and a half inch heels in this video, 
Um, so with the heels on, it was like just above full skimming, so probably a perfect length. Um, but if you're wearing flats or short shoes and you're kind of a more average height, then yeah, you probably need it tailoring and just bringing up. But that's quite normal yeah. when, when you would be going to buy dresses from a boutique or whatever, like you would expect to make alterations. Yes. So I, I don't want to disparage people from no, getting these think, on the basis yeah. that, oh, you're going to have to change it because you're but, probably going to have money to do it, actually, because well, yes, the price it, points are good. Yeah, the price gives you that, well, depending on your budget, but I would say they're a good enough price point to be able to then make the changes you might need. Yeah, yeah. Um, on the downside, like, for me personally, I, you can't wear a bra with this dress uh, because of how it's cut. Um, yeah, I would rather wear one, So, but if that's not an issue for you, then or power to you but uh, and you might want to like tape yourself in too just for like bending forward in it I was I was feeling I did have to warn Laura that <laughs> she might get more than she bargained for this um was good because the straps were adjustable on your dress oh, weren't yeah. they and because it's a kind of satin type fabric I did feel like it was going to crease really easily and um, you probably see in the footage that we've shown you that obviously there's like fold lines and stuff because the dresses that we haven't steamed them or right. anything so obviously you would do that um, but even so obviously you sit down through the day you potentially are getting in a car to get to the venue so I think those things just don't bear in mind and consider overall I think yeah overall positive about yeah. it much to our surprise to be <laughs> honest <laughs> Okay, my next dress was this floral patterned kind of kimono sleeves, Shall Maybe. Yeah. Uh, another dress with sleeves, so if you're conscious of your upper arms, another bonus mm. for you. Uh, again, well it fit true to size, you can wear a bra with it which is great. Yeah. Uh, this one comes in the block kind of plain colours as well as the pattern. I actually quite, quite liked the pattern dress, I didn't think mm. I was going to as much as I did. It's kind of like a pale, very pale pink background. Yeah, and it, it doesn't look much on the hanger, and you kind of think, oh, is it going to look a bit old? Mm, I know what you mean. But, yeah, but on a body, yes, it, it <laughs> improves. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, it had lots of buttons down the front this time, but they were fake, so you didn't have to worry about <laughs> doing them all up. There were two on the back, but I think you oh, could yeah, just about... On it manage yeah and this is, and it's lined as well so yeah. you, you can see underwear and things through it and mm. um, it's only just like the sleeve part that's kind of more sheer yeah. but by design yes yeah. so um, and it's got a big slit well not too big a slit actually a slit at the front so it's mm. easy to walk and dance and mm. cam can if you wanted to <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah and you thought it was comfy and yes it was it, so. yeah Again, yeah, they're not, in my head, a bridesmaid dress isn't necessarily the comfiest dress because it's formal and mm. I don't know, but maybe I'm just looking at the wrong bridesmaid dresses. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm thinking of kind of really stiff formal prom dresses. That mm, kind with of boning thing. and, yeah. yeah. So these were great. I thought you could sit and eat and dance really yeah, well in these. more floaty and yeah. light, quite light fabric. Like it, you'd be quite cool on a summer's yes. day, I think, yeah. So this next one that I tried on, uh, as you can see it's in white, which is not maybe the most common bridesmaid dress colour, um, but if you like to follow the style of sort of Kate and Pippa Middleton, mm -hmm. especially because this one also had the buttons on it, yeah. then go for it. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that it also came in navy if you did want to have an alternative colour, um, but I just quite fancy trying the white. Yeah. So I try the white. So it could be used as a wedding dress. It could. So I was, yeah, yeah, I was just about to say. So on their website, it in the description, it does list it as a bridesmaid's dress. But equally, when you go click into their bridal wear section, it's in there as well. So <laughs> yeah, you could go either way. Yeah. It's quite a casual yeah. style. I I still really like it. Sorry, I should just start by saying <laughs> I really like this dress. But yeah, it is quite casual, particularly from the front. Yes, I would agree with that. So we said we thought it might be kind of a beach wedding or a festival type wedding. Yeah. More of a laid back, relaxed vibe rather than a formal, if you were to wear it as a wedding dress. Yeah, yeah. Even though it's still kind of like a satiny type yeah. fabric and you kind of expect it to be more kind of cotton 
yes. I think. But it's not, so it still has the kind of glam edge to it. <laughs> and the back's quite interesting with a sort of yeah. cowl, cowl back. Um, but because of the back, it does mean again that it's quite hard to wear a bra with just because of where the line is. Obviously, you can get the one different ones with the kind of crossing and wrapping around yeah. the bottom of the back. Um, I unfortunately didn't have one of those bras, <laughs> but but you could get around it that way because from the front aspect, you could completely get away with wearing one. So yeah. that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, lengthwise, um, this one was shorter than my previous one. Um, but not in a bad way. Like, I think it looks style like it was meant to be that length. Yeah. yeah. Again, it was lined, so I didn't have see-through issues. Mm -hmm. And obviously once you get into white, I feel like that's quite often potentially yeah. a problem. So yeah, so we're good on that front. This one, like Laura's last one, had the slip down the front. So again, really easy to move about in. It's light, airy, it's all those same features. And I, I think really, across the board I think all the dresses kind of fall into that vein of being a bit kind of light airy yeah I think they're all well I imagine they're all designed to be able to mix and match and work together quite well yeah as dresses if you wanted your bridesmaids in different but similar bridesmaid dresses yeah and I think we, d we did also notice that they are all floral long length dresses they didn't have any shorter cut no. dresses on their website at least at this point in the year anyway but yeah, so that's something to bear in mind. And just finally on this one, I did also feel that this one would crease very easily. So again, just to bear in mind your plans for the day. <laughs> So my final dress wasn't quite as much of a triumph as the other two. Um, firstly, the colour was not really great for me. Um, no. on, on the website I think it's described as pink but it's definitely more peachy yeah. so that's something to be aware of um, and neither of us are really the hugest fan of a cold shoulder no I've not gotten on board <laughs> with that whole fashion trend I'm afraid no. but this um, one was particularly difficult to wear I think wasn't it because there's no stretch in any of the fabric no so I couldn't so lift my arms up for more than that so yeah difficult it didn't for move with you did no. it this one because I was concerned about the slinkiness of the style of the dress I sized up but again it was actually quite roomy so I probably would have been okay on my normal size although it still didn't flatter me <laughs> at all yeah I, I wouldn't wear this dress I didn't think it looked great on me no the others were a better choice for you yeah yeah and like you say like it probably would have improved somewhere in a different color yeah. we kind of knew that going in we just wanted to yeah. show you the all the different colours. colours that they had, so someone had to pull the short straw on that one. <laughs> and it was me. It was you. <laughs> um, I could still wear a bra, I had to wear a strapless bra with this one because of the thin straps, but they were adjustable. Um, again, it wasn't full length on me, but it would be mm. on somebody who was a few inches shorter, probably. Mm. Um, yeah, and just the, I think the general cut of this dress was just off, just sort of like where the stitching on the hips were it's either that it was like caught slightly yeah it kind of gave it, me triangular hips, yeah like um, in the wrong spot yeah. and sort of where it was cut on the chest it really just didn't allow for anyone that's not quite small and given that as well that you'd sized up you yeah. would think they would give you a more generous allowance kind yeah. of thing and it just it didn't, it didn't no. at all whether the hip thing would work if I had it in the smaller size I don't know but yeah or whether it's a height issue because they're yeah, you're I'm not quite tall <laughs> compared to the average and so yeah whether they just expected your hips to be in a different yeah. place so don't yeah. discount it completely but it's just not a dress for me in that color especially yeah okay so <laughs> My final dress, as you can see, didn't really work out. Um, so, in principle, on the website, I was quite enthusiastic about this dress. So this one, I believe, only came in white. Um, but again, it was still billed as a bridesmaid's dress. Um, but you can make it go either way. Um, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't get it on. I literally could not get it over my head. Like, I thought, you know, it's just not an issue I foresaw. No. I thought, you know, not being able to do it up at the back, 
neck or get over hips with or whatever with dresses in general but no it was I couldn't get my head through the hole and okay I have a slightly bigger than average head size I think but then I you try that you can get it on either <laughs> so it's just there's this little like string strap that's because it's quite it's high necked and then this string comes around the top at the back and it's just you there's no give in any of the no. fabric what they needed to do with that was put a little press stud on one side so you yeah. could fasten it afterwards, but... That's all you need to do. <laughs> yeah. So, obviously, the model on the website managed to get it on somehow, but our heads just weren't yeah. fitting through. So, yeah, or if you want to try this dress, I'd say order in plenty of time and knowing that it might not work out. And yeah. It, but I would love to have tried it on, yeah. but alas. It yeah. looks like it might have been a nice dress. Yeah, it seemed good quality. Yeah, yeah, but we'll never know. No. Unless you're super sure that it's going to work, so you could cut that stri string yourself to make it. <laughs> but Stitch some in it for the day. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. not a goer. Yeah, surprising, but no. and disappointing. So yeah, they're the six different designs that we uh, got from Warehouse. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Are you interested in any of these dresses? Um, we're actually we're really impressed. Apart from the few yeah. issues at the end, I think. I mean, I even said to Becky at one point that if I was looking for bridesmaid dresses again, I think the first one you tried especially, mm -hmm. I thought I would say yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, indeed, like the first one you had on as well. Yeah, particularly. So. Big thumbs up from us. Yes, well done, warehouse. <laughs> few, few little issues to work out, but as long as you're aware of them, then yeah. Yeah, good. I would say just the little touches were maybe missing, like the packaging when it arrives. It was very much just in a piece of plastic shipped in a box. Like it was totally fine for. It's just what any old product would kind of come yeah. in. There was no kind of extra effort for it to be bridal kind of thing. But that's just a side note. But we did think the price point was really good. Yes on all of these dresses, like for bridesmaids dresses and even from high street bridesmaids yeah. as well. Yes. So because they're all around eighty pounds I think. So. Yeah, in that vicinity. Yeah. So yeah. Really good. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so please subscribe and like the video if you liked it. If you've got any more video requests or any other places you want us to try on from, let us know in the comments below and we will do our best. Otherwise we'll see you next time.